hello friends you are welcome again on our channels today we are going to analyze the practical model approach of the data time trees so uh, let's start if we talk about the data so this is the database is originally from the national institute of the diabetes and digestive and the kidney disease the objective is to predict the based on the diagnostic measurement whether a patient has diabetes or not so we will have some data and we have to do our model analysis and we have to do prediction if a patient has can have the diabetes or not if i talk about the contents so we will have approximately these columns here in our database first we will get the pregnancy number of the times pregnant glucose the plasma glucose concentrations blood pressure what is the blood pressure of that patient what is this skin thickness how insulin what is the bmi it's a body mass index what is the diabetes prediction functions and age and outcomes so these colors we will get and outcome is our final prediction base so let us start our model now We should import first our Panda, NumPy, Sivon, Matplotlabs, and Warning Message. These diaries we need to start our modeling analysis. So we have done that. I have already saved my data file here in this path. So you can also save this path. Uh, you will get this data file, the attachments in my video. So let import me. So I can see I can see the column pregnancy, glucose, blood pressure, sick thickness, illness, BMI, diabetes, age, and outcome. If I talk about the data shape, I can say simply 768 by 9. 9 is a columns and 768 is those. Let's check if our data has any, any value or not. Okay. So I can see everything is zero so there is no any values there is no null values now i want to see the correlation of my database between each columns right so with this code i can see is what the correlations beautiful visualization i can see i can see how pregnancy is correlated to the glucose blood pressure wow age is correlated to the bmi how age is correlated to diabetes right so this is a beautiful correlation chart we can see this is also called the heat map if i want to visualize the individual correlation wise so let's take the help of this code and from this code i can see the relationship between the glucose and diabetes only two columns i can see if you see this chart so i can easily see there is no relationship between glucose and diabetes if we see our heat map so let's see glucose glucose is here this is glucose and if i see diabetes this is the diabetes so we can see the correlation between the glucose and diabetes is 26 it's it's very less right it's not too much that's why we can see it's no it's the uh, 0.14 only right guys if i want to see the correlation between uh, age and the diabetes how age can be a main factor to diabetes so i can see no it's hardly matters because if we see the age is this and diabetes column is this it's a 0.034 only it's a highly correlated doesn't mean if you will get more age your your chances of diabetes will high no that that can be to kids also right so it's a highly it's not correlated if i see the relationship between the age and bmi right so it's you can see if all all the age it's it doesn't means if age is, age is increasing that bmi will also increase right there is no correlation if you see the age and see the bmi it's a 0 
right tout is about 0 0.034 and age and bmi is 0 0.036 is high it's a highly correlated guys if i describe my data set in a one columns with it with the help of this code so i can see the one plate it's a count mean standard deviation minimum 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent max if i just see the correlation between each columns on the one table so here we can see the maximum correlation i can see here is a 0.54 this is age with pregnancy right that is that is confirmed we we should have the at least a, a minimum age i cannot expect that a five-year child will can pregnant or the 50 years age of the old lady can get pregnant they are there are very less chances so age really matters that's why the highly correlation is 0.54 it's pregnancy and age now let's build our model now today we are going to build a logistic regression model so we have to decide our y and x y is a dependent variable that is last outcome column and other than outcomes everything is x that same we have done we have taken y to outcome and uh, other than outcome we have taken the x all the columns till age now let import our train and test split this is very important uh, steps i believe you all know if you don't know then you have to practice guys because without train and test you cannot build any model any model in data science right here we have given the uh, train size is a point seventy. That that means the de total data will be divided into seventy percent and thirty percentage. Seventy percent is train data and thirty percent is test data, right? Let's run this code again. And if I see the shape, so you remember we have the total rows are seven sixty eight. Now out of seven sixty eight rows, seventy percent are train, five thirty seven, and 30% are test, 231 rows, right? You can see the safe here. Now let import our model that is logistic equation model from the SQL and linear model. And let our fit train and X train and Y train to in our model. Now we have to do the prism based on the test data. And now we have to import all the confusion metrics to check how accuracy our model has. That model which we have built now, just logistic regression model. We have fit our data into the model and we have based on that fit, we have some tons of predictions, right? But you are not able to understand that because 01018, this is the last outcome columns prediction. If you see the prediction on the base of prediction, what is our accuracy result? It's a 74 percent. It's good. I would not say this is bad or good, but but there are multiples uh, more analysis which we have to do to increase that accuracy. If I just uh, want to plot my confusion matrix, 720 by 130. A beautiful chart will come. That is our confusion matrix how our model is accurate and how it's confused so we can see the accuracy is 74 percentage which is good so hope you have learned this data analysis with the logistics with the diabetes data you can download this uh, file with the data set with this view thank you thank you so much guys thanks